Okay, so let me just show you a trick here. Um, we did this previously as a two to two, that is kinetic plus potential turns to kinetic plus potential. But I'm sure there were some of you that, that um, noticed this. Couldn't I just say that this height is zero and this height is 2.1 meters? Isn't that the same? In other words, uh, 2.1 plus uh, 2.15 is 4.25, right? So all I had to do is just subtract the 2.15 from the 4.25, and I get that this hill is just 2.1 meters tall. And then I can just simply do this, 1 half mv squared. So I'll say it has zero potential, right? And then at the end, it's got mgh plus 1 half mv squared. So all, all problems like this, and I call these roller coaster problems, you can always reduce them to either a 2, two to 1 or a 1 to 2. This way, and the mass does cancel out of these, right? So I've got one half, eight point six squared, is um, nine point eight one times only the two point one that it is higher than the previous elevation, right? And this this solves to the same exact thing. So point five times eight point six squared. Uh, minus 9.81 times 2.1. Uh, and then I get 16.379 is 1 half v squared. So I did this minus this, and I got this. And then I'm going to multiply by 2 and then square root that. And I get 5.72346, etc meters per second, exactly the same answer. And the reason it works is that uh, even if we had set it up 1 half mv squared plus mgh1, right, the, one of our first steps would be to just subtract this term. And so you'd end up with uh, 1 half mv squared um, and then you'd go, that equals um, mg, and then you just go uh, h2 minus h1 plus 1 half mv squared. Well, h2 minus h1 is just our 2.1, and that's why it works mathematically. Anyway, you're probably really geeky if you watch this video.